Hello, everybody, to Jacob in Between, the perfume edition, where we get to talk about things that happen in the perfume community. Welcome to all my lovely co-chators. We are going to talk perfumes today. We're going to talk The Row. The Row have released three perfumes. Now, before we get to these perfumes and what it's all about, Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And thank you to everybody who's already subscribed. I live stream on my main channel every Saturday. Everybody's welcome to join in the live chats. As you can see, we are here. We've just been talking a little bit about Chucky and a lot of other things, healing, spiritual healing. Well, let's talk about the row. Let's let's step it up a notch. Mary, Kate, and Ashley. Hold on, let me move here. Oh, no, here. Let me move here. Here you go. These are the little chicks from Full House. Mary, Kate, and Ashley Olsen. Uh, their minimalist luxury brand, The Row, is launching its first scents in collaboration with Loel, Duverts, Haley Alexander van Osten, Cha, I can't believe I actually managed to read through this, probably made a ton of mistakes. The three oils anchored in sandalwood will be available to purchase at The Row stores. Now let me show you one of the products. So, so these are the three, they look really bizarre, don't they? Uh, this is, I think they have these little pouches to protect them. These little leather, or looking like leather bits down there. Or is it just the light? Let me show you the next photo. It's a little bit more visible. You understand the three vials. This is how the three vials look like. These products were four years in the making as the twin sisters and Usten worked to get the fragrances just right for the Rose customers. The Olsen sisters began wearing Osten's oils before they collaborated with her. So the transition from customer to business partner became seamless. The trio of oils... Let me show you the next picture so I can move away from the chats a little bit. There you go. This is fascinating how they... Uh, which You see on the stoppers, you have R on the first one. It's like a very alchemical almost looking... Very Mason style R. Then there's an O. And look at that stylized W. A pyramid with a little extra little thing, like a diamond inside. And that's the, the W. So I love this almost art deco, but also Mason masonry um, design for the perfumes. And very minimalistic, in fact, the trio of oils, each is named after a letter. R... O and W. The R oil is a mix of tobacco leaves, S fund seeds, and rose. O is a mixture of blue water lily, olibanum, and oris. W is a mixture of amber, champa, and incense woods. As mentioned, all scents have sandalwood as a base. The price points for the fragrances, range, guess, from $490 to $550. And done. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? They look teeny tiny. The This uh, reportage does not say uh, the milliliter quantity, but they do seem, if they're oils, they seem pretty tiny. Um, let me fade this out so I can move back in. Yeah, the R sounds amazing, says Kevy. Uh, I'm sold. Well, yeah, five hundred to five four hundred ninety to five hundred fifty dollars. If you're sold, more power to you. Uh, Mimi says definitely Mason like. I can't stand the Olsen sisters. There's something sinister about them. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Debbie says, I guess $200, LOL. No, Debbie, it's more than double that. More than double that. Lauren says, and that's a nope. Yeah, the price is incredible, right? Penelope says, wow, they sound like they smell so good, but that is a pretty penny, right? Kami V says, I thought 500 to 800 Well, you guessed. <laughs> You guessed. I, I don't know why the difference of only $60 between $490 and $550. It's already super high price. Like, what difference are we talking about between $490 and $550? This Mason does not like $500, says Donnie Barrios Mason, right? So, yeah, I mean, it sounds like an interesting 
mix. They all have sandalwood as a base. We know that Mizor sandalwood is not allowed to be harvested because, you know, they almost uh, butchered all of them. So they kind of have to replenish the woods and the forest. So I guess they're using, maybe they found other plantations where they can get sandalwood or they're using synthetic sandalwood. Um, would I like to smell them? Yes. Would I want to buy them? No. Even if I really liked how they smelled, would I still not buy them? Exactly. Even if I really liked the smell, I still wouldn't buy them because they just don't have that legacy of perfumery. You know, they're just like adding perfumes on top of what they're already doing. And it doesn't feel authentic to me. Um, it just doesn't. You know, it doesn't feel like they come from desires of... The, 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 it doesn't seem like they come from the desire to make perfume. It seems like, okay, we've done all... And now let's add perfume on top. And that to me is like, well, then be more humble about it. If you're going to go in the perfume direction, even though you haven't gone in that direction for all this time, be more humble about it and uh, make it cost less. Don't make it cost this huge amount of money like you know what you're doing. Like you've been doing perfumes for such a long... You know what I mean? That's what ticks me off. It's, it's the kind of the fakery of it, you know, that kind of pretentiousness of it. Uh, exactly, Candy Fluff. They are missing the aura of actual perfumery. Yeah, Kimberly says, uh, yeah, I'm out too. Penelope says, wait, 500 for all three? Because that would be terrible, I guess. No, it's 500 for one. <laughs> Alina says, the first picture reminded me of those tubes they give you to pee in. <laughs> Cha. Angela Kiss is so expensive. Dundas says, Jacob, how can you point on an actual chat on the screen? Sorcery, right? Look at this. It's too much. They don't even have a nice bottle. Wait, who's saying? Oh, Dondism. Jacob, how can you point at an actual chat on the screen? Sorcery. Dondism, I can do you one better. I can tickle you. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Poop, 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 poop. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> I actually tickled you. Did you feel the tickle? Uh, Candy Fluff says, yeah, they're missing the aura of a real actual perfumer. Candy says, it's too much. They don't even have a nice bottle. I mean, you know, bottle, whatever. But yeah, I'm not a fan of the bottle either. But I mean, I've seen worse bottles too, though. Lauren Breen says, well, I am tired of everyone smelling like Baccarat Rouge. Oh, cha, so am I. That perfume ain't it, girl. Cami V says, to keep, it's too much. They don't even have a nice bottle to keep. Uh, Kevy W says, oh, wow, only seven mil. Yeah. Oh, is it only seven mil? That's in Seven milliliter. Okay, so it's literally... Chanel number no. 5 gives you 7.5 mil. So Chanel number no. 5, the pure perfume, gives you more than their oil. But those are oils. This is a perfume, okay? This is not oil. So oils do cost more, I guess. But Chanel number no. 5 gives you more than the row vial. 100% agree. It's just another stint, says Mimi Morrison, in their pretentious shit. Not authentic whatsoever. Letty says, dear love, just give me Eden now. Yeah, we love our Cacharel Eden. Uh, and and it's a roller bottle, says Kevi. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, the roller alone costs 300 Not. Stephanie says, I like a roller bottle, lol. Well, it's oil, so roller bottle, little roller pen kind of helps. Deb says, I understand the technology, lol. Penelope says, do they also sell clothing? The row. Yes, that, that's what they, they started their, their brand with clothing. Or makeup. Makeup, I don't think they do. Jam says, bottle is very important, I feel. Oh, to me too. To me too. Gwen says, more expensive than perfume. Um, Ashley Montero says, they produced perfume with their old brand, Elizabeth and James. It was okay, lol. Nothing special. Oh, they already did perfumes? But, but that's like ages ago. This ages ago. And they have the row since many, many, many years. And, and they haven't really ventured in that direction yet. Pretentious snake oil, says Debbie. Letty says, honey, I'm getting the number five pure perfume. There it is. And when every time you smell it, you're going to feel cocoa right there in front of you. I don't want to smell like premature aged skin and cigarettes, says Olisoto. Demi says, 500 American dollars for seven mil? Jesus, take the wheel, Right? Barbara Shihota, Essence R, offers Sandalwood's Embrace. It is joined by fresh tobacco leaves, burnt esfan seeds, and rose. Yes, so they say in the description. Seven mil. Shop Queen says, I'm late to the patty. 
Wah, well, trying to catch up. I love fragrance. <laughs> well, welcome, my dear. The row used to have great quality cashmere, but have started using brands now to reduce price. Mm. Blends, but have started using blends now to reduce price. Kevy says, Lost of Barney's killed their business. Lost of Barney's? You mean lost of? Lots of. I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, Barbara says, yes. Jam says, most of Chanel's bottles are gorge, except maybe Gabrielle. Yeah, Gabrielle takes a bit of getting used to, especially that stickalette. Oof. Most of Chanel's bottles... Oh, sorry. Sometimes pretentious is fun. Puts on a gallerist glass. Oh, PJD. I know. What, I see what you did there. Uh, Barbara says, LOL, 7 mil. Penelope says, love tobacco. In perfume, though. Right, but then you could go for the really cheap Yoshi Yamamoto uh, white tobacco leaf fragrance, the uh, I Won't Bother You, or what's it called? I don't know where I put it. Oh, I have it here somewhere. Uh, for women, not for men version, has the white tobacco leaf for like $15. Is the Elizabeth and James fragrance discontinued, asks Jam. I do not know. Dior Addict bottle is gorgeous, especially the extra. Yes, the Dior Addict is amazing. The old school one, not not the you know the toilet version, the translucent one these days. And also, I'm kind of sad that they turned the more metallic parts from gold to silver on Addict. That's a pity. When I was at Barney's, the row was always top seller for women, says Lauren. I do not know about that because I never really cared for the row. And I know a couple of my subscribers and, and viewers really love the row and wear a lot of their clothes and buy a lot of their clothes. A friend of mine also worked for them in sales in the showroom and also said that their quality was amazing, but very, very expensive. But the quality was just really superb. Uh, she worked for them before the blending began, however. Uh, so I do not know about the kind of toning down the watering down the quality of the cashmeres but it's an interesting um topic wasn't it to add to the perfume world like we get to talk about this uh kevy says the row did a lot of business with barney's new york but the closing of barney's killed one of their biggest retail outlets uh, also i thought addicts sold well but literally nobody no body products they had wonderful body products but they didn't sell well that's why they were discontinued so this was it. I mean, I think it's interesting for the perfume community to also kind of talk about these things without actually having in hand the perfume. And we can talk about it because they are kind of famous personalities, the two sisters from Full House. <laughs> now they're making their house even fuller with new oils. Um, let me know what you think. Has anybody purchased these oils? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you purchased the Row oils? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Would you purchase them? Would you not? Let us know. Let's keep the, con the convo moving and going in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel, thumb up this video if you liked it, and never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.